Treats, Tricks, Part 7. A miraculous ladybug fan fiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Megami Watatsuki on Pixiv. Go check her out. There's a link to her in the description box. And if you haven't heard the previous six parts, go check them out. Linked in the description box as well. If you're listening for what to comment, <laughs> you know the game. Put pumpkin marshmallows. Please enjoy Treats, Tricks, Part 7. Adriana Crest as Cat Noir. Wait! Cat Noir yelled as Ladybug drifted away. Wait, let's play a game. A game? She poked her nose over the edge of the cauldron with raised eyebrows. Yes! He tried to clear his throat. A game! If I win, I get those pumpkin marshmallows. What? Yeah, okay, sure. Yes, yes, I'll get you the pumpkin marshmallows. Cool. She floated above, and he had to be careful about how he looked up. What do I need to do? You need to... Cat stopped. What if her broom got stuck in here, too? Then they'd both be in here with their miraculouses, and Hawk Moth could get the better of them. Oh, this was the perfect time for the man to cross them. How could he be so stupid? Come on, Cat Noir! Then again, they wouldn't have the cauldron without Hawk Moth, so there's that. The cauldron is lava. Lava? Ladybug looked around its edges. Yes, lava, Cat said. And you have to get me out without you or your broom touching it. Ladybug grinned. <laughs> Bet! Moving swiftly, as if she hadn't heard the concern in his voice, Ladybug yeeted herself in the cauldron, wrapped her arm around his waist, and yanked him up and out safely. Well, safe until the broom bristles brushed the pot on the way out, Ladybug and Cat Noir kept going, their momentum uninterrupted, and the broomstick clattered inside the pot. But just before the pair hit the rooftop, Cat cradling his partner's head to his chest to protect her, a flash of light blinded them, paired with the screeching of bats. Oh, man, he heard Carapace yell. I was still eating mine. He held tight to Ladybug and his baton as he looked for Hawk Moth, already on alert from... Wait. His baton? Cat Noir had never been so happy to see Candy disappear, or to have Ladybug look up at him in confusion. Cat? she began, then stilled on something or someone behind him. Right. Hawk Moth. You! Leave it. He tightened his grip around her as she wriggled. Not tonight. But he's... Cat twisted to look at Hawk Moth over his shoulder. A deal's a deal, right? Hawk Moth narrowed his eyes. I presume you'll return this to where it came from? He nodded at the cauldron, and Cat realized he didn't have his bats to do his work for him anymore. I'll make arrangements. And his father's money. Actually, no, his paycheck. He could bribe a couple of set designers to move it. They knew people who knew people. And maybe Ladybug could use it as a way to track Hawk Moth. But that kind of felt like betraying the pseudo-partnership that lasted less than a night. Hawk Moth would be their enemy tomorrow, sure. But he couldn't imagine crossing him tonight. As strange as that thought was. A part of him hoped Mayura turned out all right, too. Good. He turned and leapt off the roof as Ladybug broke free, only for Cat to catch her wrist. No, he said, shaking his head. Trust me. What happened? Ladybug tried to follow Hawk Moth with her eyes, but it was too dark out now. Yo, you missed an awesome time, Carapace said checking on his now-standard grade shield as Rena Rouge rubbed her head. Cat never thought he'd be happy to see a pizza box disappear, either. Carapace seemed a bit bummed, though. 
It's a shame I couldn't keep the turtle outfit, though. A turtle outfit? Rena asked. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Carapates sang in English. Oh, please tell me there are photos. He pointed to her flute. Hopefully the magic didn't erase them. You got some while you were talking about pumpkin-shaped sprinkles. I did? Yeah, you and Ladybug. I... what? Ladybug finally drew her gaze back to Cat Noir, who let go of her wrist. Ah, jeepers. They didn't remember. Sit down. Cat Noir said, patting the spot beside him as he knelt. With the chill in the night air, it would be perfect conditions for a snuggle, but there's no way she'd comply. And I'll tell you all about my long night. Thank you so much for listening. If you listened all the way to the end, comment Cat Noir's Long Night. This series will be compiled uh, shortly with a bonus point of view and um a soundtrack now why am i speaking so slow thank you so much for listening if you made it all the way to the end comment cat noir's long night thank you so much for joining me on this little mini series and i will catch you in the next one don't forget to subscribe bye